Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. And we are back with another episode of Paro DJ's Port Guides, and today we are delving into, I think, one of the only islands that has different nationalities on uh, either side. What? It's St. Martin! Yes! Uh, we're mostly focusing on the Dutch side today, which is Philipsburg. Uh, the French side capital is Marigo, and I don't know if cruises go into Marigo, or if they Marigo don't go. <laughs> But anyway, so Philipsburg, St. Martin on the Dutch side. Mm -hmm. We've been there a few times and there is a lot to talk about for St. Martin. There's a ton to do. Yes. So we'll start off with the normal section, which is called navigating the port. Mm -hmm. uh, at St. Martin, when you get off the ship, um, I know there is a pretty nice size shopping area right there off the ship. Yeah, there's a lot to offer. Yeah, and there is, uh, I know there's a water taxi that can take you to some other places mm -hmm. and some cool stuff beyond the shopping area, yeah. but I think we'll save that for the exploring on your own. But right there at the port, you've got like Diamonds International. There's all kinds of shops and restaurants and tons of fun stuff. Guava Berry. <gasps> that is good. Yeah, they are known for that. Good. You should try it. <laughs> But uh, other than that, it's very easy to navigate and find your way around the little shopping complex and the taxi stand and everything that you could possibly need. Yes. And the next section that we like to cover is called Ship Excursions. I have selected six excursions from Carnival, being our most cruise line to date, uh, that just sort of give you an idea of things that you can do through the ship around St. Martin. Yeah. So the first one is the semi-sub underwater explorer. We talked about this in a, a, one of the ports before, mm -hmm. but this is always a cool looking option. We've never done it, but mm -hmm. it's sort of the boat where it has the under section with all of the windows and you can sort of snorkel while staying dry. So some, we might try something like that one day. It yeah. always looks fun. Maybe. You love snorkeling I so love much. Snorkeling. You just jump in the water with all those fish. Yeah. Mm. Next up, we have the top 10 best of St. Martin. And this is actually a tour that we have done through the ship. We've also done it with a private vendor, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, for a visit to St. Martin, really, if it's your first time or if you've never done an island tour, I think that's kind of the way to go because you get to see pretty much everything. All of it. They take you over to the French side. Well, they take you through Phillipsburg mm -hmm. and tell you some cool stuff in history. They take you over to the French side to Marigo and you get to walk around, see stuff. Yeah. They have pastries. You go to the beach for a little bit. Yeah, Drew. You get to see, you, sometimes when you get to go to Orient Beach, the last few times we've been there, Orient Beach has been sort of being reconstructed. Yeah. Uh, but you get to go to Maho, Maho Beach. And why do people love Maho Beach? Airplanes. Airplanes. They fly right at your face. I mean, like right over your head. Big airplanes too sometimes. Scary. Just don't stand up against the fence. And yeah. get blasted. Don't people, be one of those people. <laughs> people love to do that. You could get seriously injured. It's danger. Yeah. Uh, but all sorts of fun stuff to see around the island. So that's kind of one of my favorite things to do. We've mm -hmm. done it twice, right? We've done two yeah. two overall but island tours. But they were slightly different. They were. Yeah. Uh, we did like an ice cream shop with a carousel. Oh yeah. On the, the carnival. The one through excursion. the ship. Yeah. We hmm. didn't do that the first time. But yeah. a fun day in St. Martin. Next up, we have Old Town Phillipsburg by Trolley, Train, and Beach. I don't know why I'm always drawn to these cute train tours. Whenever I see one, I'm like, let's talk about the train tour. Sure. It's just, a, it, it seems fun. Well, to, they seem like pretty accessible for everybody. That's true. And we so. did one in Grenada. We, we rode a train. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a cute way to see the island. Absolutely. We also have Airplane Watching and Snorkel Cruise. That's one that takes you over to Maho Beach. I want to do that. You get in the water at Maho Beach and you snorkel and airplanes fly over your head. Yes, please. That sounds amazing. You can't, yeah, you have to choose between fish and airplanes. You can't see, but well, maybe well, no, no, you, no, camera, look, I got oh, it. Oh, I was gonna say- if you <laughs> Actually, my head would be like that. If you tilt your head sideways with one eye underwater <laughs> and one eye over, you could probably see fish and an airplane at the same time. But anyway, and we might, that that's always a good option. We might do that one more. Sweet. Mahu Beach is really kind of crowded a it's lot of the time, crowded. but it's exciting. It's really got to do it. <laughs> the next one I chose is the Sky Explorer and Flying Dutchman. Now, when people talk about St. Martin, they oh. talk about that daggone zip line. It's supposed to be the steepest one in the world. Uh, it's like people claim something. steepest, longest, tallest. tallest. There's all these words that you can say about zip lines, but the Sky Explorer is basically the big ski lift type thing that takes you up a mountain. You get all the beautiful views. They've got one in St. Thomas. They've got all sorts of stuff. And then the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. Big scary zip line. It's not. I watched other vloggers do it and it really doesn't look that bad. Like it's smooth. Scary. And uh, no. It's not scary. <laughs> but. It's a gentle decline. <laughs> Yeah. 
And last up, I have Sea Trek Helmet Diving and Snorkeling. <laughs> I guess that's kind of like, I, I equate it to Snooba. Are Snooba and Sea Trek the same thing? Sea Trek is where you walk along a path on right. the bottom Snooba's of the ocean. Different. Okay. But yeah, this is where they have a path marked out. You put on a helmet, you gotta guess you get weighted down, down because I float. <laughs> uh, and you walk around underwater and breathe air. There's like paths usually, mm -hmm. statues, and all sorts of cool stuff to look that at. That looks like an awesome option. So maybe I one day. I think you have to be able to really go down a very steep ladder yeah. and be very comfortable underwater that long <laughs> mm, yeah maybe one day it'd be fun Next up, we have exploring on your own. Now, St. Martin is actually a really convenient mm -hmm. port to explore. So like we were talking about before, you have the shopping area just off the pier. Secu well, the security gate is before that. <laughs> and then you have a few choices. There is a free beach right there at St. Martin. And it's nice. There are tons of restaurants along there. Lots of shopping. There's like two or three streets. I know there's Front Street and something else and just so many shops in there. Lots and lots of stuff. Lots options. of stuff. Uh, there's a hard rock. Yeah, we explored yeah. probably about half of that place and we barely <laughs> even scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, there uh, you can either walk over to that area, which I think it's probably about a half a mile to get yourself over kind of it's to the bad. beach. You can also take the water taxi, which you can buy the tickets right there, pretty much right off the ship. There's a little booth to buy those. Now, we never really did fully understand how the water taxi system worked. In my mind, there was gonna be a rotation. There are four stops uh. to the water taxi. You have the ship, the marina, the central pier, kind of in the middle of the beach, I forget the name, but if Editing Me finds it, it can go up on the screen. And then you have the far pier, which also Editing Me, thanks. Uh, and I thought maybe it was just going to sort of make a circle. It bounced all over We're the place. We're like, I don't So I think it. the theory is just get on the water taxi and it will eventually get you where you want to go. I don't know what order or how long it will take, but it wasn't very expensive. No. And it, to me, it was a lot nicer at the end of the day. You get out of the water and you're, you're like, tired. Yeah. I don't feel like walking. Just just get on the water taxi. And if you walk over and take the taxi back, um, they'll let you just pay when you get off. At least, True. yeah, you have that. They'll they're gonna check you for a stamp and they'll make you get another line. And yeah, you can just pay for one us. way. Which is and nice. it was like a dollar off, but I don't know. Yeah. That might have been just a special they that were running at the time. Yeah. So very convenient. But I mean, St. Martin just walking around that area, mm -hmm. that's kind of awesome. Now you do have to rent chairs and umbrellas. Actually, you don't, you have, don't to. have to. We didn't. We just threw our stuff in the sand and watched it very closely. We did. But you have the option, and then of course there's vendors who are going to you know barter with you on yeah. prices and things like that. Tons of food. Mm -hmm. tons of everything right around there uh, and of course we teased them a little bit before but there's a ton of other good things to see around st martin you know you've got mirago the french capital orient beach maho beach all the things that we talked about before and you can catch a cab to any one of those places if you're interested in just that place mm -hmm. one thing that we did that was kind of uh, unique is we went over to that yoda guy yeah. is what they call him nick maley who was uh, sort of uh, among one of the people who helped in character creation for yoda among other movies other, and yeah. things it's cool and went through his his museum and learned a whole lot of stuff and met him and had him sign some stuff and yeah. they even I saw an excursion online where you can have dinner with him really <laughs> yeah I forget where that was but if I find it I'll link it below it was like dinner with Nick Maley oh Fluffy would love that <laughs> yeah he really would wow uh, so that was cool that was right over there in the main shopping district I think on Front Street yeah just something unique to do I wouldn't uh, yeah. have thought that would be there you know mm -hmm. <laughs> so of course another way that you can sort of explore on your own without being on your own uh, is a private tour company and we have used one in particular mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of them so if anybody has experience let us know down below but bernard's tours we did the overall island tour with them and had a great day they took us to like feed some iguanas yeah and that was cool there was some unique stuff that the one through the ship didn't do mm -hmm. and it was just the like four of us because we oh like, it was the bus filled up so we got like almost like a private excursion. we had a private tour that doesn't happen every time no, but that was cool <laughs> yeah but it was one of the overall island tours we hit maho orient you know all the main places and it was a great day mm -hmm. i think it was five dollars cheaper than going through the ship but anyway <laughs> uh, but yeah if there are any other suggestions that you have used in uh, st martin let us know yeah and of course last up my favorite section is the free and frugal fun section where we rate on a scale of one to ten how successfully you can have a free or extremely cheap day at st martin now st martin has that beautiful gorgeous beach right there it is free you don't have to get a chair if you don't want to no nope. uh, but i mean even if you do i think it's like maybe 20 bucks for two chairs and an umbrella, umbrella yeah it's like not that. bad and you can walk to it you can pay a little bit of money and do the water taxi there's a lot of options true so in my mind there's that beautiful beach there's tons of shopping tons of stuff to see and it's not that far from the port so mm -hmm. i am going to put st martin kind of right in the middle of the scale uh, i'm going to give st martin a five 
I'll do six. Oh, <gasps> six for St. Martin. Okay. Yeah, and the scenery while you're in the water is gorgeous with the mountains that is in the true. background. Beautiful. That is true. All right. So our overall free and frugal fun rating for St. Martin will be a five and a half. Sounds fair. That's not bad. Nah. Not bad. You done good, St. Martin. <laughs> But that is it for our port guide for St. Martin. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on.